Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new video. If you thought that the claim that Rasulullah had epilepsy was a desperate one, then wait until you check this out. You see, genetics play a role in epilepsy, and for Dr. Jalaluddin to make the case that Rasulullah had epilepsy, he wanted to argue that he has a family history of it. So in this video, he claims that Rasulullah's mother had visual hallucinations and that means that she may have had epilepsy. Let's check it out. All right. So on the top left, you see about Muhammad's mom. So with uh, when we're talking about Muhammad's mother and anything before prophethood, you have to understand that there's not a lot of stuff written at that early on. Uh, but what we do have, we do have quite a lot about Muhammad's mother seeing things. So on the left side, I'm just going to read it for you guys, if it's a little small. Uh, the prophet's mother... Uh, when she was about to give birth, nobody was with her, uh, neither man nor woman attended. Suddenly there was a terrifying noise and I felt great fear. Then a white bird alighted upon my breast and my fear left me. I became calm and no trace of pain. Next I was handed a cup of sweet white sherbet, drink of it, heart filled with peace. I had a tall woman approach me. So she's hallucinating. Then uh, another hallucination she has is she sees Hava, the wife of Prophet Adam. Right. And then the wife of, I believe, uh, Pharaoh of Egypt. And then she sees Maryam, the daughter of Imran, too. Uh, all the while, the noises I'd been hearing became louder and stronger. And she's having these vivid hallucinations. So the response to this is very simple. This isn't even a real hadith. You can't find it in any classical sources, but Dr. Jaldin doesn't really seem to care. He found this in a blog. A blog that, of course, doesn't even cite the reference for this report. Now, you shouldn't really be surprised because this is the level of Dr. Jalaluddin. Unfortunately, his trusty sidekick, Shamil, doesn't really know any better. This is like, I, I, there's been a couple of comments already saying this is incredible research. And I have to agree, this is very good. This is like incredible, like groundbreaking. All right, let's carry on. On the right side, we see Sirah bin Kathir affirm the same thing. And the visions of the mother who saw she bore me a light came from her that lit up the castles of Syria. Okay, so Dr. Jaladin is quoting a report that says that Amina had a ru'ya. Do you know what a ru'ya is? A ru'ya is a dream. Now, this is how desperate these mortards are. They find a report that says that the Prophet's mother had a dream. And they're like, oh, dream means ru'ya. It means vision. And therefore, she had visual hallucinations. And if she had visual hallucinations, then she probably had epilepsy. Let's, so let's just carry on. Uh, and she heard voices that you are pregnant with the Lord of the Nation when she got pregnant stuff. Now you see, there's nothing here that even says that there was a vision or a hallucination or anything like that. All that the report says is that it was said to her. So maybe Dr. Jaladin can argue that since we don't know who's saying this to her, perhaps it may have been an auditory hallucination. That's the most that can be said. But more importantly, let's go back to the origin of this report. Ibn Kathir here is quoting Ibn Ishaq. And Ibn Ishaq doesn't mention his source for the report. There is no chain. If we return to Ibn Hisham, this is what we find. And of course, Ibn Hisham is quoting Ibn Ishaq. So Ibn Ishaq's source is this. Meaning, so some people claim and say, now this is not a reliable source of information, ya Dr. Jalal al-Din. All right. So now we've established that Muhammad's mom did have some hallucinations. Can we be sure it's epilepsy? We can't be sure because we don't know enough, but we do know that about 30 to 40% of epilepsy is caused by genetic predisposition. First degree relatives of people who inherit epilepsy have a two to four fold increased risk for epilepsy. Muhammad's mother hallucinated before, during her pregnancy, and at the time of delivery. No, you weren't able to establish a single hallucination, let alone three. The most that you were able to do is argue that she had a single dream. I'm off. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Shake goodbye, Samuel.